Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel where we help you with all your tech related queries. In today's video, we are going to show you how to create an AT&T account online. Whether you are a new AT&T customer or an existing one, having an online account is essential for managing your services, payments and getting support. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. So first of course we'll start with opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Of course here in my case I'm actually using Brave but of course in your case you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you such as Google Chrome, Opera, Brave like me, Firefox, Microsoft Edge or if you're using a Mac Safari. So whatever browser you have in your PC will be cool so simply just go and open it up then go to this URL section simply type att.com and hit the enter button. That will take you to the home screen or main screen of the AT&T website. So here, as you can see, freedom to choose what's best for you or best deals on any smartphone. Your choice of plans only at AT&T. Of course, you can shop now if you want iPhones uh, like Google phones or whatever you want or Samsung phones. So you can see here a lot of stuff. So make sure to go through it one by one if you are interested. And of course, if you are, are having any issues, you can always come here and contact them. So now we will have to simply click at the top right corner option, my AT&T. Then as you can see here, you can go to your account, make a payment, pay without signing in, see my bill, update my profile, view my order, go to my favorites or sign in. For us, of course, if you want to create an account, simply we'll have to click at the sign in option. So once we click on it, of course, let's just load. The page will load for just a few seconds. And as you can see here, if you have an account, you'll have to enter your user ID, then simply password, then click at keep me signing so you don't have to log in all again or always. Then click on sign in and you'll be good to go. Of course, if you forgot your if you forgot your user ID, click here. Or if you forgot your password, make sure to click here so you can get them back. If you don't have an account, you can always click and create a new one. And of course, if you're looking to pay a bill or something, you can pay it without signing in. So make sure to click here if you want to. Of course, for us, we will have to click as create one now. And that will take us to another page. As you can see here, we will have to simply answer a small survey. So select a server, select an AT&T servers that you want to register. As an example, wireless, internet, AT&T, internet air, direct TV stream, you versus TV, direct TV, home or business phone, or AT&T email. So choose whatever suits you as an example. Let's say as an example for me, it's going to be AT&T email. Then click and continue. So that will take you to another page, of course, here to create your account. Of course, this could be different depending on whatever you choose here as an example. So let me just open a new tab as an example here, AT&T. Click on sign in now or sign in, then click on register. So yeah, create an account now. Let's say an example, if we choose an internet as an example, then click and continue. As you can see, they will not take us to the same page. So it depending on whatever you choose, you're going to have to create your own way. Them all. So let's just go through them all as an example. Wireless is going to be like this. Internet is going to be like this. AT&T internet air is going to be like this. Of course, direct TV stream is going to be like this. And direct TV is going to be like this. Then the UVerse TV is going to be like this. About the home and business phone, you'll find something like this. And the AT&T email, you will find something like this. So whatever you aren't interested on, of course, those uh, six or seven are looking the same. Actually, you'll have just to enter your, like, your email address or account number, then the zip code right here, then click on continue. And for this one, of course, you will have to enter username as an example. Let's say example, it's going to be for me, it says your first name as an example, uh, something like this and, or tester. And of course, as you can see, be sure your user ID is between five and 127 characters. So four characters like this one will not be counted. So here, let's just add a tester zero as an example. And here I'll have to verify my age as an example. Once I click on it, as you can see, they are loading page for a bit of a second. So we'll simply have to wait a bit. It will not hurt. So for the, for the other users, of course, 
You will need to enter your personal information, such as your first name, last name, contacts, details, email address, and date of birth. And you will need all to create a unique user ID and a strong password that you will use to sign in to your account. So make sure to keep this information safe, safe and secure, by the way. So here, let me just enter this as an example, something like this. Uh, no, this is not going to be valid, of course. And here will be good to go. Of course, the day should be here, not the other way. And let's just do something like this. So this is going to be very valid. So of course, once you enter your information, then the steps of verifying your identity will come through. After, of course, entering your personal information, AT&T will ask you to verify your identity. And you can do this by selecting one of the options. So of course, let's just fill like some informations here. Maybe the phone number should be something like this. And then you'll have to enter an alternative email as an example. Let's say an example something is going to be something like this. Then simply click on send code. Here, you'll have to receive or you'll receive a confirmation code to this phone. So make sure to, re uh, to enter the code here and you will be kind of done. Then as we said, you'll have to verify your identity by this then you'll have to set up your account preferences so once your identity is verified you will be asked to set up your account preferences and this includes setting up your communication preferences billing and payment option and security settings and of course then you'll have to review everything then submit it so after setting up your account preferences you can review all the informations you've selected to ensure everything is accurate and up to date and once you are satisfied click on submit button and you'll be good to go so for me i cannot do that because i will not receive a code right now because i just entered a random number but for you make sure to do things correctly and it's going to be pretty simple the rest you can do it by your own once you do that of course you can always just come here and click on sign in into your account so let's just wait for this page until it loads then you will have to simply sign in into your account and you'll be able to pay your bills from here you'll be able to buy from their shop or something like that maybe you have an issue so let's just go back and then click on sign in again and of course once you sign in into your account as we said you'll have to simply just enter your user id which you created, then your password, and you will be able to pay your bills, as we said, uh, use their shop, as you can see from here, and get some of their services, wireless, internet, TV, prepaid, bundles, deals, you can do all, everything after you have your account. So that's it. You've successfully, of course, created your AT&T account online. And of course, having an online account will make it easier for you to manage your AT&T services, bills, and support. And if you have any questions, or, fa or you faced any issues during the process, you can feel free to let them know. You can simply contact them. If you go here, down here, you can simply click on contact us to contact them. It's going to be very easy. So don't forget to hit this like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe to our channel for more tech related content. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.